Welcome to Games Are Us. I've got yet another walkthrough episode from Johto region for you guys and today I'm going to defeat the Akrutik city uh, gym and gym leaders and we'll be on our way to the next gym. I'm going to show you exactly what's coming next but first let's just quickly deal with all the NPCs and the trainers inside the gym. So as you can see at the moment I've got the um, uh, six ghastlies to deal with that's why I set up a dragon dance at least once so I don't have any problems uh, defeating them so they don't end up outspeeding me my Pokemon they're not very much leveled up at the moment but I do suggest for you guys to start leveling your Pokemon up at least to level 50 and above because you will need them uh, in some occasions and Obviously the Johto, um, Johto Elite 4 itself, it's not that bad, but again, you're going to have to start leveling up. So while you're going through the journey, just keep fighting the NPCs, keep getting your experience and money at the same time. And once you defeated a few gyms as well, uh, it will give you a lot of experience. So make sure maybe you're using the um, experience shares and... Uh, whatever you can do to speed the process up unfortunately at some point you will end up doing that because the grind is real you can't avoid it uh, so you can't buy a Pokemon higher level than your highest level so unfortunately to start with the game you will have to eventually get to at least one level 100 Pokemon in order to be able to buy any level uh, Pokemon in this game but at the moment uh, I will defeat them all pretty much. I'm not gonna bother you with me going back and heal myself. So um, let's go quickly towards, um, let's continue towards uh, Morty, the gym leader. We have a couple more uh, trainers to fight, but this one only has Gengar. Uh, I probably didn't have to set up that Dragon Dance, but I did it anyway. I probably would have worked anyhow. But even before I'm gonna start fighting Morty, my uh, Gerardos level went up a little bit and I did sort of top them up in the level. Even if you have your Gengar uh, up to level 50 and a little bit higher, probably you will defeat all of them easily with a Shadow Ball. Uh, that should be as easy as fighting um, as what I'm doing right now, probably even easier. Because a Shadow Ball will be a super effective move against all those Ghost types. But nevertheless, this is almost finished now. Um, as you noticed, uh, my Gyra just, just died now. But again, I'm gonna heal myself before I come back. Uh, I'm not gonna show you that, no point. And the next on the agenda is to get the, the badge and continue with the journey through Johto. So in a moment, uh, as you can see, you see that this is what's happening when your Pokemon are not leveled up enough. Other Pokemon will outspeed you and it'll be very difficult, it'll be very hard for you guys. Because uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much hoping and counting only on one Pokemon all the time at the moment. Just because I'm trying to do these walkthroughs fairly quick without losing too much time. But I can't stress enough. Keep leveling them up, don't just use one all the time, uh, maybe because it's not a good, um, it's not a good practice because one way or another you will need them sooner or later and you're going to regret not doing so. But there we go, uh, now I'm quickly going to go and heal myself, uh, my levels increased a little bit because I actually did top them up slightly, and my Gengar and my uh, Gyra just so I can win against here. But what I suggest for you to do is, you need to be fast enough, so you need to be at least 51, 2 level, maybe 3, to be faster than them, otherwise uh, you will die. Because they have Thunderbolt, and the first two Hunters I will simply defeat with a Waterfall, and the third one at the same time. Also I'm going to use Waterfall on, uh, because if I don't, they will kill me with one shot. And when it comes to Gengar, I'm going to set up one Dragon Dance because Gengar will not kill me in one shot so that's what I'm setting in Dragon Dance so I can be um, faster than the last three Pokemon 
and now I can just keep using waterfall and swipe through the rest of the team and get my badge and get out from this gym and continue the journey towards Olivin Town. That's the way you're gonna have to go. Here we are, uh, and there's one more left. And we're pretty much done with it. That should literally just take one hit. No problem at all because I had already plus five or six attack, which means there was no Pokemon here that could withstand that. So there we are. Another gym behind the belt. And um, like I mentioned about Gengar previously, set it up, level up a little bit, have a Shadow Ball, and the Shadow Ball itself will probably win here. So there's always a good advice. Also, uh, Pokemon like Gengar are very effective against Psychic Pokemon usually. The Shadow Ball is anyway. So, as you can see, the gym is a little bit annoying. You have to go back on yourself. It's like a little bit of a maze, but we are at the bottom now. And now, finally, we can go towards Olivine. But once you get to Olivine, uh, there's a surprise waiting for you guys because Olivine technically it's not the next gym that you have to fight there is one more before you can get to Olivine but up here you want to go up if you go down there is no way through it and here you can avoid NPCs if you like again I suggest fight them all gain that experience gain the money it will help you in the long run but there it is we're nearly there now uh, all you gotta do is just go south and Olivine is just there and because we're gonna get to Olivine you also wanna go and get to the ferry because now you're gonna have ferry available from here to anywhere you can go like Kento for now because you haven't unlocked any other gyms yet but there you are the Olivine gym has a guard set there you can't fight them until you defeat until you defeat uh, another gym so you have to basically go and follow south and uh, this is how it's all set up then go west the ferry is just straight at the bottom there where the beach is if you uh, want to go to the ferry and go back to Kento for any reason then there it is uh, there's a few NPCs here you can find uh, but you basically have to surf south and you have to get to uh, Sienwood uh, city or town I can't remember whatever is city or town now to be honest and I'm gonna use my repel in a moment so I don't have to get stopped every five seconds there we are a max repel being used and now I'm gonna try to avoid all these NPCs again so I don't have to waste time that's why I'm trying to uh, swim far away from them so they don't stop me so surfing south next one surfing west now and once you get through uh, this area, the next, the next map that's going to get you to will be already Cienwood. So we're going to have a little tiny bit of more surfing to do. And Cienwood is also a very important town for another reason. Because you can get to Johto Safari uh, from that point. And I will get to that in the next video before I go back to... Uh, Olivine, but here we have a mining vendor so if you've done any mining you can sell your gems here this cave on the left this is the way in towards Johto Safari and there is another gym there guys so this is it I'm gonna do this gym in the next episode but for now uh, if you like my content and you keep following my walkthroughs then smash that red button and that way you won't miss out on any new content coming out you're gonna get notified but for now Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.